Hey folks, I want to talk about one of the known sources of ticking noise in a twin cam motor. Um, this is the, the rocker assembly without the rocker. So I've got the rocker support plate and I've got the rocker shaft. And um, the way this rocker shaft is, is held in position is that there's this little half crescent moon uh, here that once it's installed in this hole and this bolt is put in place, that bolt keeps this shaft from moving left or right, but unfortunately it's a loose fit. So what happens is, as the rocker is actually going up and down, if this shaft is, is has free play like this one does, it ends up pivoting back and forth, hitting the stops on this bolt, and you can hear the ticking noise, right? So um, some are worse than others. This one is actually particularly bad, but I'm trying to make a video about it. So that's why I have it showing you like this. Um, there's a product out there called Rocker Lockers that uh, it's a good product and it works. Um, it's, it's a very thin sleeve that gets pressed into this hole so that it basically fits tightly against this half moon and it doesn't allow this uh, shaft to pivot any longer, and it gets rid of the noise. Uh, the, th the thing about that, though, is it's one of those things where, you know, you have to press them into place. Um, if you ever want to take the assembly apart again, you have to, uh, un you know, you have to extract the sleeves. Um, and then you have to have new sleeves if we, when you go to put it back together again. I mean, it, it, like I said, it's a good product and it works, but it's just uh, it's a lot of work for what, you, what we're trying to achieve. Um, other folks I've heard say, you know, just when you go to assemble it, keep this end dry and put a little bit of red thread lock on here at the last minute before you slide the, the, sh the shaft into position and the thread lock will harden and it'll keep the pin stable. It does do that. Um, I have actually tested it and it does, it does st stop the taff or shaft from moving freely, but it's also really hard to assemble because you're trying to lubricate the whole assembly at the same time that you're trying to keep this end dry and keep no, and on top of that, you, you don't want to have a chance of any of the red thread lock getting into the area where the bear, bushing is and the lubrication is. I just think there's a risk there. It's, it's kind of cumbersome. Um, so what I want to show you is this is a simple modification where all I did was basically put a threaded Allen screw through the bottom of the bracket plate and run it up into the area where the shaft comes into the, the you know, the, this area. Um, it's an eight by 32 half inch long uh, screw. And you wanna make sure it, it is long because if you notice, I, I, I intentionally left it sticking out. Um, when this bracket is bolted to the deck, there's going to be a flat surface just like that. And this screw is not going to be able to, even if it gets loose or something happens to where it loosens up and starts to back out, it will not be able to back out any further than the level of the deck that the whole bracket is bolted to. So it's a safety factor. So it's an added part, but it, as long as you use a long Allen screw, uh, there's no chance that this is ever going to come out and get into the motor and cause damage. Okay. So that said, um, as you can see, so basically when I, when I put this assembly together, the way it is by design and it, you've got that looseness, um, I'd probably put a little bit of blue thread lock on this set screw, run it in, Snug it down, and voila, um, this pin is going nowhere. It's completely held in place now by that set screw. Um, the last thing I want to I want to emphasize is make sure you put the set screw if you do decide to do something like this. Um, put the set screw on the same end as the original locking mechanism. This end of the assembly is is meant to hold this shaft in position with the bracket. This end of the assembly, this shaft needs to be able to float freely on the aluminum for growth and, uh, you know, due to temperature changes in the engine. So don't, don't think about putting any kind of set screw on this end of the bracket. 
put it on the same end as um, the original uh, mechanism for holding the shaft in, in place. And um, that's it, guys. That's all I wanted to share with you. It's a simple modification uh, that I think will pays out, and it's it's easy to do. All right. Thanks. Bye.